Slappers? <laughs> no, that's terrible. Ladies and gentlemen, let me get out of the way. I want to stage a second excellent night. Gary Hamisham, everyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah.
funny there's the Irish, Fergal, Seamus, stupid, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> See what? See what they did on the As old Mother Riley used to say, the family that prays together stays together. <laughs> Do you know what? Do you know, tell you what? Tell you what? Do you know the Irish firing spot? They all stood round in a circle. <laughs> This is so stupid, the Irish. Do you know which you in the war? No. Do you know that? No. I do all the time. In the trenches. Why? All my four granddads died in the war. Time's up, Gary. My life's shit. <laughs> <laughs> What's your life like? Great. No point, is it? <laughs> and I'm a cheer up because we're all going to die soon. <laughs> is that seven minutes? Good. Fuck off. <laughs> Never doing that again, Dave. That was only four minutes. We've got three minutes left. <laughs> Will we have him back for three more minutes? <laughs> Even an amazing gig. I mean, I once dreamt about a Radiohead gig. I once dreamt I was the lead singer of Radiohead. I walked out of the stage where somebody shot themselves. I mean, that's a fucking depressing dream, but this is actually an unbeating uh, all together in, in all sorts of states. Gary's gone. He's not a chap. He works as a welder. He works as a welder. This is like fucking turned into... Like, it's a play, ladies and gentlemen. Okay? We're watching a Samuel Beckett motherfucking play. It's like waiting for God. Uh, it's just waiting for God to come. I'd love to see God walk in. Just go, I'm really sorry about this. Uh, there was a glitch in the Matrix. Things just got out of fucking control. One of the cats got into the system. Things went a bit mad. I, just, I mean, I wouldn't mind, because you know when you're an Irish comedian, you go to England, you get such a, a nice sort of welcome over there. Especially, it has to be said from the ladies. I mean, the women over in England love the Irish. And you ask them why they love the Irish, and every one of them says, the accent. Not one of them has ever said the body, by the way, I should stress that. Not one woman has ever said, ooh, well, the pale white pasty skin, the big Guinness belly on you, and the flamingo legs, and, and feet like penguins. I swear, it's like God gave us the rampant rabbit of accents. You know that. If, if some of those women could, they'd take the voice box out, take it home, and just go, talk to me, Shavis, talk to me, sweet Jesus. I love as well that they call it the rampant rabbit in England, because if they made it in Ireland, we call it the rambling rabbit, because it would eventually wander around for ages, is really drunk. I go down the wrong hole. That's going to be rambling, rather altogether. But, ladies and gentlemen, this is this is a uh, this is. Uh